We are in a unique position to change the name of the Educational Studies Building. At present, Goldsmiths does not have a building named after a woman, and we can change this. I would like to propose that the building be renamed the Margaret McMillan Building, and here's why. Margaret McMillan devoted her entire life to improving the lives of people living in deprivation and poverty. The last 40 years of her life spent doing this in Deptford, a neighboring community to New Cross and Goldsmiths. At a young age, Margaret became a Christian socialist whose aim was to improve life for the poor and working class of England. The Macmillan family motto, Miseraris Sucurero Disco, is a quotation from the Latin poet Virgil, which can be translated, I learn to help those in need. Margaret's work for children included setting up health clinics and nursery schools. Margaret strongly believed that the only way the poor could achieve access to the same conditions as the wealthy was through education and saw the importance of starting with the very young. She was prominent in the campaign for school meals, which eventually led to the 1906 Provision of School Meals Act. Additionally, she campaigned for the bill published in 1907 that introduced the medical inspection of school children. In 1914, Margaret and her sister started the first open-air nursery school and training center in Deptford, which is still open and fully functioning. The nursery was based on Margaret's belief that children who are sick and undernourished cannot learn. The nursery offered learning based outdoors in the large garden that exemplified the open-air nursery concept. The nursery also provided teacher education, and Margaret believed that young, intelligent teachers would eventually provide education for the children in the surrounding community. This reflects the ethos of Goldsmiths College when it opened its doors to teacher education in 1905. Margaret saw her ultimate dream come to fruition when the Rachel McMillan Training College opened its doors in May 1930 next to the nursery in Deptford and was dedicated by Queen Mary. This college educated future teachers for early years in primary education until 1976 when it was amalgamated with Goldsmiths College and we continue her work in our contemporary teacher education program. Margaret McMillan was arguably one of the most influential figures in the first half of the 20th century. Her outlook and views continue to be reflected in the educational studies program at Goldsmiths. We encourage all our students to engage with issues of equity, social justice, equal access to education, and political issues that affect the way we and our children are educated. Please consider voting for naming our building the Margaret McMillan Building.